Is your mouth open or closed right now? I'm watching you. If it's closed, it means your lips are touching and you're probably breathing through your nose. So what's the big deal? I mean, why is my dentist asking me this? Just look at my teeth. Well, mouth breathing and dentistry are actually a lot more related than you would think. Breathing through your mouth can lead to a dry mouth, which makes you more likely to get cavities. It can lead to bad breath. And people who are mouth breathers tend to have longer, narrower faces. They tend to have more crowding going on and they're more likely to need braces. And the list goes on. So why is breathing through your nose better? Well, I'm gonna make a separate video on this, but you do absorb oxygen a lot better through your nose. And breathing through your nose can filter air a lot better than breathing through your mouth and it can filter out a lot of those viruses and bacteria and make you much less likely to get sick. And basically all the bad stuff I said about mouth breathing, the opposite is true with nose breathing. So today I'm gonna give you eight signs that you are a mouth breather. Number one is your lips are open when you're just resting. So next time you're watching Netflix or you're just hanging out, pay attention to your lips. Are they open or closed? If they're closed, then you're probably breathing through your nose. If they're open, you're probably breathing through your mouth. As simple as that. Number two, and a simple way you can check right now, is if your muscles are strained when you put your lips together. So if you put your lips together and it doesn't feel natural and it feels like you're kind of straining those muscles, and if you feel the muscles right here in your chin tensing up, then you're probably a mouth breather. Number three is if you have a dry mouth. Now this is probably easy to tell right when you wake up because when you're sleeping, your mouth naturally produces less saliva. So if you're breathing through your mouth throughout the day, but you're still eating throughout the day, and you're drinking lots of water, you probably might not even notice that your mouth is dry. But right when you wake up, since there's less saliva in there and you're not eating anything, there's gonna be no saliva in your mouth. So if your mouth is super dry when you wake up, then there's a chance that you were breathing through your mouth the whole time. Now this can be a real problem, especially for people as they get older and they start taking more medications. Because a lot of medications can cause dry mouth as well. So if you're already a mouth breather and now you're taking all these medications that'll cause a dry mouth, your mouth is gonna be even more dry and more likely to get cavities. And the reason is your saliva is basically a bodyguard for your teeth. It can wash away any plaque and leftover food and prevent them from getting any cavities. But without the saliva there, there's nothing to protect your teeth and now all these foods and all these acids in your mouth are damaging your teeth. Number four is bad breath. Just like we said before, the saliva in your mouth can protect your teeth and it can wash away all the plaque and leftover foods and all the acids in your mouth and in doing so, it can also wash away a lot of those bad smelling bacteria in your mouth. But when you're a mouth breather, you're drying up all that saliva in your mouth and now you're not giving them the chance to wash away all that food and bacteria. And then you're stuck with having bad breath. Number five is if you have a long, narrow face. Now you're probably wondering how the heck the shape of your face makes you a mouth breather. Well, it actually all starts when you're a kid. As your jaw and your face are developing, the way you breathe can really help shape it. The reason is, like we talked about before, when you breathe through your nose, your lips are gonna be closed. And when your lips are closed and you're breathing through your nose, Hey, that rhymed. But when you're breathing through your nose, your tongue is naturally resting against the roof of your mouth. And when this happens, it can stimulate the palate or the roof of the mouth to expand. And since you naturally breathe through your nose, your tongue is almost always gonna be in this position and always kind of stimulating that palate to expand. And what happens over time is it can change the shape of your face. It can make your face look more broad. It can help you get those higher cheekbones and it'll create room for all your teeth to come into place. If you ever need a teeth taken out for braces or if you ever needed an expander, growing up, it's because there wasn't room for your adult teeth to come in. But as your mouth widens and makes room for all those teeth, those teeth have a much better chance of coming in straight. Now, if you've always been a mouth breather growing up, you can see why you'd have a narrow, longer face. Because since your lips are always open and you're always breathing through your mouth, your tongue is never resting against the top of your mouth and the roof of your mouth has no stimulus to start expanding. Now, obviously we can fix that by going to an orthodontist and getting an expander, but this gets a lot harder as you age. As you get older, the bones in your jaw start to get more mineralized and they start to get harder. And since your bones are harder, it makes it a lot more difficult to cause them to expand. Expand. Number six and the next sign that you are a mouth breather is if you have nose problems. If you have a lot of allergies or your nose is just always stuffy, it's gonna be a lot harder to breathe through your nose. So what do you do? You start breathing through your mouth. Well, another issue with this, if you're sick or if you have a lot of allergies, is your tonsils in your mouth will also be inflamed. So now you're breathing through your mouth, but your tonsils are getting really big and they're getting really inflamed. And when your tonsils get big, they're blocking all the air that can get in through your mouth. So not only are you absorbing even less oxygen because you're breathing through your mouth, it's even worse because those tonsils are blocking your airway even more. And believe me, allergies can be really tough. One time I was watching my friend's cat and it was such a cute cat that I couldn't say no. But the only problem is I am very allergic to cats. And the whole two weeks I was watching this cat, 
I could not breathe. I mean, my nose was stuffy the whole time, my eyes were watering, and I just had a really hard time breathing in general. And by the time I gave the cat back to my friend and I could breathe again, I forgot what it was like and I never want to go through that again. The seventh sign that you are a mouth breather is you snore. A lot of snorers are in fact mouth breathers. And this is a sign of sleep apnea too, which means that you're getting less oxygen to your brain, which is very dangerous. So I would definitely suggest you get a sleep study if you snore. Number eight and the last sign that you are a mouth breather is you're tired throughout the day even though you get a lot of sleep. If you're sleeping for eight hours a night but throughout the day you just can't function or you're falling asleep at the wheel, then that's a sign that you could be a mouth breather. Now obviously there could be some other stuff going on like we mentioned before, sleep apnea, but like I said before, you absorb oxygen a lot better through your nose. And the reason is not only does nose breathing filter the air better, when you breathe through your nose, you're taking longer, slow breaths. And when you take longer, slower breaths, there's more time that the oxygen is spending in your body. And that gives this oxygen more time to get absorbed and go to the right places, like your brain. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked that video. And if you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel below. And I'll see you in the next video.